everybody, Debbie Starr here. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite all-in-one marketing platform, Go High Level. One of my uh, students was asking about how do you customize these courses? Now, you know, this is April 2025. Things are always moving forward. But as of this date, I want to show you how you can customize things and just a couple little shortcuts. So stick with me. Let me share my screen here. And I'll just show you some quick ways on how you can customize things. Now we are inside of Go High Level and over here on the left, if you click on memberships, that's where you get to your courses, the communities, all of that kind of stuff. All right. We are going to get into products. Now, before we do that, I just have to say, it's super confusing if you are just getting started with Go High Level because over here on the left under payments, there's also something called products. Normally, you think of products as something that you sell. Why they called it products under courses, I don't know. What you need to remember in this instance, under courses, products is the course, the class, okay? Just a little side point. So what I'm going to do, I am going to create a new product. So up here to the top right, and I'm just going to create it from scratch. And when we uh, create it, it gives you some choices, a sprint, marathon, membership, build your own. I usually just start with the sprint. The only difference between this and the marathon is it just has more like little chapters, so to speak. So I'm just going to start with the sprint course. And then we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to say test two and create my product or class, okay, or course, whatever you want to call it. And because this is a sprint, it just has a like a welcome or getting started, three little lessons and what's next. So I find that this form, format is super easy to use and you can just start building it out. Now, getting back to the original uh, question that was posted, how do you customize the courses and get them to look how you want them to? So we are inside of this particular course. And if we click on customize, there's different uh, themes. The default theme, uh, what I have here, well, I'm going to click on the right where it says browse system template. Right now, there's only four uh, main templates. Now, you can customize these as much as you want, but it's just kind of the general layout. So you can kind of see what they look like uh, depending on what you enjoy. So I'm going to use this Neo Classic and I'm going to activate it. And then it just says you want to apply this template to the current course. Yes, I do. So I'm going to use that uh, template. And here we are. So the question that I hear all the time is, how do we get rid of this ugly yellow background? It's called the hero section. And depending on when you jumped into go high level, again, this is April 2025, um, Things change all the time, but as of right now, over here on the far left, they've made it a lot easier. It used to be you had to kind of hunt and peck to try to find where in the world was this hero section so you could change it, okay? So now it's right over here on the left side, and when I click on hero, and then I click on appearance, it gives me a place to upload an image. Now, I'm going to share another secret with you. Notice it says recommended dimensions 1280 by 720. So I've got some uh, images that are that uh, size. I went to Canva and created that size. So I am going to upload this. Now, let me show you. Do you see how it's kind of cut off my head and everything? So this information is not the truth, all right? <laughs> so get out your little pencil and write this down. For this hero section, the dimensions are 
1777 by 386. How do I know that? I've got this cool little, it's a free add-on Google tool. It's called Measure It. Uh, I can actually turn that on and I can measure this little window. And so I can see, oh, okay, seven, 1787 by 387, okay? So that's the real size that you want for the hero section. For now, I'm just going to leave it as I continue telling you uh, the rest of the things here. Okay, then the shadow or show overlay, if I click, whoops, let me turn this little guy up. If I click that, that's just, you know, if you kind of want it uh, muted over the top, that's what the show overlay is, all right? And then you can change the color, your overlay color, and you can also change the transparency. So, you know, if you wanted a super uh, see-through or not at all. So that's how you change the hero appearance. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is sometimes you'll want to create your graphic that is a lot prettier than just typing. So remember, I named this course Test 2, and then it says Start Course. So here's the little secret for that. If you come down here where it says Course Info, right here, Course Title. Now, you have to give it a title. You can't just have a blank because uh, the system needs it. But uh, the, the more I type uh, for the title, the more it shows up. And again, maybe I want my graphic uh, to really pull that out. It just depends on how you want it. So a little shortcut is you could just do a little period. And right now it's white. You know, I can make it super light. Um, I don't know, my background is pink, I think. So it kind of, kind of blends in. You can still see it, but you get the idea. The course description it shows up here also. So again, depending on how you want to design this thumbnail, so to speak, uh, you can either do it inside of your Canva graphic, or if you do it here, just keep in mind that it may uh, conflict with if you have text on that image, right? Then, uh, hooray, hooray, we can uh, change the colors of our buttons. So you just do it like that. How easy is that? And then you can have a, a border around if you want. And then you can also um, change the wording. Uh, so we might just say begin course. All right. And then vertical spacing, if we just play with that, it just kind of uh, moves everything closer together. If we want large, it just moves it uh, back and forth. All right, so it's that easy. Uh, again, with this particular one, we come over here to Hero and we can make all of those adjustments. Then the same way with the header, we can change the, uh, the base color, the icon uh, color here. The same thing with uh, the layout. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but you can just play around with like the primary font, secondary font. If you wanted a background image that would sit behind all of your courses, sometimes you might want like just a little uh, gradient fill just to kind of break it up or something. So just play with these and you'll, you'll have a lot of fun um, just playing around with that. Okay. The uh, instructor, you can load, upload the um, image. Now you now have the option, we used to have to use uh, CSS, but you now have the option either to show or hide. So, you know, do you see down here the instructor? Maybe every course, maybe you're the only one that's in, that's teaching it, so you know, okay, they get it. They know who it is. So you could hide all of those things, which would be great, right? 
Um, and then you can just continue, continue down the line. Then uh, once you have everything all set, whoops, uh, let me see, do I have everything saved here? Let me save it. And then I'm going to apply it. Okay. And then I can come back. When you click on the details, this is when you first create that course. Again, this is the title. Uh, and if you have a real long title, maximum 140 characters, that's what's going to show up on that hero banner. The same thing with the description. And now here's our product thumbnail. This thumbnail, the size it is correct, 1280 by 720. So let me just upload um, a thumbnail again. We will just call it workshops. And there's the thumbnail there, okay? You could uh, customize things. Now, I already showed you how you can turn off the instructor and all of that kind of stuff. If you wanted, though, you could put it here if you wanted it to show and write a little bio about the instructor. You can upload your uh, uh, logo here, your favicon. You can have all of those things. So what I would do, if I'm going to be creating courses, I've got this one set. And now I'm going to go back to my products. And so now here is this product or course that I just created. So I have everything set for what I like. The next course that I uh, would want to set up, instead of going through every everything again, I will just clone this and then just change out the picture and the title. And to clone it, you just click on the three dots and say clone. And then where do you want to clone it? Um, I have an agency account, so I could clone it in other people's accounts, for instance. So you would just clone it and you're good to go. All right. So let me come back, stop sharing and uh, see you. So it's super easy to customize your courses, courses, <laughs> not products inside of Go High Level. Um, and just find a template or a style that you like and uh, customize it for your uh, taste. And then you can just clone it each time and just change out your thumbnail. And for my thumbnails, you know, um, again, find a template that you like on Canva. And then it's super easy. You just go up there and kind of uh, redo that every time and you're golden. And it won't take you a long time to uh, create those courses. So hope this was helpful. If you have not uh, tapped into using Go High Level, it is an awesome all-in-one marketing program. I've got a 14-day free trial if you want to check it out. So uh, the link will be in the comments uh, below. Anyway, hope this was helpful. If you need more help with your marketing, reach out. I have a membership group. Uh, we have a lot of fun inside of the group, and I am there with you every step of the way, holding your hand, giving you the support. So reach out if you would like that. All right, see you in the next video. Take care.